another Game Boy game! Hello everyone and welcome to a random gameplay of... Tetris Plus! Oh, I could have said that name earlier because it showed up on the previous screen, but I just wanted to drag that out there for the fun of it. <laughs> Anyway, you probably know how to play Tetris. This version of Tetris is different than other versions of Tetris. Well, there's other Tetris Plus games, but uh, what I mean is that it's not standard Tetris. It has this mode and known as the puzzle mode. And this is what sets it apart and makes it very interesting. So, yes, the race away. And normal's fine, normal's fine. And you get to select the world, I'm just gonna pick Egypt because it's the default choice, I suppose. Um, well, I, I guess that's cool if you like being dead or something like that. <laughs> I'm not one to judge. But anyway, the objective is to get the professor there down to the very bottom of the screen. He has a 2x2 two two block, basically, and he moves left and right on his own will. When he touches a wall, he changes direction. When you put blocks on top of him, he climbs up to the top of those blocks until he can move again. And since it was the first stage, it was incredibly easy. <laughs> um, the obviously, well, if you, I shouldn't say obviously, if you've never played Tetris before, you won't know this. You, to, in order to clear blocks off the screen, you have to complete lines, and the, the entire line will disappear. And it's as simple as that. It's a very simple puzzle game to get into, but very, very addicting. And it's very, I mean, it's especially addicting with the professor here, because he is the guy who makes all sorts of problems happen for you. Okay, I thought, I thought he was gonna get, oh, actually, I can't have him there, all poopers. Because you see, you can't, you can't willy-nilly just plop blocks anywhere while he's there. I, I want to get him to the center, if at all. Oh, oh. Kind of rusty at this, just my thinking, I should say mindset. I know how to play Tetris relatively well, but what I'm saying is I just lost my touch, I guess you could say. I haven't played Tetris in a while. I, I still know how to play to an extent. And... By the way, that saw blade will kill him, so uh, try to avoid that, and you know what I should do? Because I, I kind of messed this up earlier on. So you go up there and die. Because <laughs> this is going to take me forever to break through the blocks there, because I, I, I kind of messed it up in the very beginning, because I didn't get a block down to the right quick enough like that. There we go. And... Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! I need to get... Well, actually, that's fine. I can do that. Because that's my, my that was my entire plan for this stage, but I, I flubbed it up way too early on, and yeah. I don't want to clog up the, the, the yeah that, the, in the middle there, because he, he will... I need something that I can use, like the eye. Yeah! And every so often you'll get a um, prize for that. You can get up to seven of them, if I'm not mistaken. And it's not all that important as opposed to the actual gameplay, but it's it's a nice touch, I suppose, you know, to flesh out the explorer theme of this game, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to leave him go in that corner. There you go. So you can't just drop blocks anywhere you want to, whenever you want to, because you can put him in a bad spot. And if he goes up to the blade, he's done for, and yeah, you don't want to get him in a, a bad position. And that's what makes this game different from other Tetris games, because you got to really think about how the professor is going. Alright, I don't know how many pony stages I'm going to be playing here. I'm just going to give you a good taste of the game, I guess you can say, to, to see how evil this game can get. <laughs> because it does get pretty hard to get him down to the bottom safely. And yeah, I'm just kind of having issues clearing blocks. I'm not getting the right ones. Tetris does have... Oh shoot, oh shoot, don't drop blocks willy-nilly, PK Gam. Wait for him to... There we go. When he's up near the top of the screen like that, he, st he starts to panic, and then what happens is that he goes super fast. You, you can use that to your advantage to an extent. Yeah, like sort of like that. But, uh, 
I'm looking for triple. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. If you get a triple or a Tetris, you know, four lines, that bar, uh, the spiky saw blade up there will raise one level. And this is a terrible piece to have. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Let's plop this here. Okay, good. This is a decent layout, I suppose, just as long as I don't screw things up. I'll fill this in, because it'll get a block down one layer lower. Um, let's see, I'll, I'll pop them up a level. Oh, it, it knocks it down more. Whoops. <laughs> Not paying attention to the lines, I'm just filling them without making holes. Which is kind of the idea. Okay, now he's in a good position. This is what I was aiming for. There we go. Okay, that took way too long. <laughs> but as you can tell, my best time was way, way better than that. But uh, getting the best time, or even clears, can sometimes be reliant on the pieces you get as drops. In this case, I'm going to be uh, trying not to fill... Ah, there we go. That's perfect right there. If I can block him in. As long as I do not bump him up to the top, he will be good, because all I have to do is get them the lines. Like, I can just keep stacking them in the center like this for as long as I want to until I get ye ol' eye. And just drop all that layer. There we go. This game is about the planning to get the professor down there as efficiently as possible. Another treasure! Well, he's a, he's pretty excited. <laughs> I'm just overacting here. Oh, this one. This one is a pretty mean one. <laughs> um, let's see here. Just, I'd like to get him to the center if at all possible. Eh, fine, I'll put it there. I must think on my feet or my hands. It's decent, and now I plop this here, in this here, in this here. Okay, now I can get him in that center area, and I can start clearing the blocks up on top without worries about him. Come on, go down there. I can't drop this piece until you go down in the center. Good boy! Okay. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to block him in like that. Now, all I have to do is work on getting the blocks around him away, and needless to say, my best time was because I got better blocks than the ones I'm getting now. <laughs> Unless I'm just doing very bad planning on my part. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't be blocking that side like that. I should be doing... I mean, I should be keeping it open, only stacking stuff in the center, if at all possible. Like that, I suppose. And, uh, by the way, in case you didn't realize, uh, the, the pieces I'm going to be dropping down where the professor are will be pieces that he won't climb out of. That's that's my plan, basically. You'll see when I get... Come on, where's the eye? <laughs> that is the piece that you always need, but it's never there. <laughs> I suppose that is the... Uh, oh, there we go. That is the piece... Ah, oh, I almost got a triple there. That is the most important piece for getting a lot of stuff. Okay, pop that down there. Pop, pop that there, pop that here, and get that there. Okay, okay, we're good. Don't worry, Professor, you don't have to worry. I've got this all under control. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I do. There's just a little bit more that I have to do here. Just... Um, actually, this is... Good here... Good here... Just need... A J... Or an I, that works too. And we are done. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Professor! Just get down there! You can, you can see the goal! <laughs> Woo! That is clearly not my best time. Not even close to it. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Let's go. Stage 8. Now, this could be extremely easy or extremely difficult, depending on how poorly you place your pieces. Bloop. Bloop. And I just need to something like this, and do something like this, and there you go! Oh, new record! Continue. Let's keep going. 
Stage 9. 16 seconds. Man, I must have got, like, all these kinds of blocks from the very beginning. Yeah, and I must have had a, a setup that wouldn't let me block that center area. I mean, that wouldn't have me block the center area. I'm gonna put that there, because then I'll walk down across it. Plop, plop that there. And plop that there. Voila! Woo! That was about as efficient as I could think of the pieces that I was getting at the time. Yay! Crystal Ball! Tell me, tell me, will I beat stage 10? Perhaps, perhaps not. Oh, this is... Actually, this could be a difficult procedure. Wait, actually, maybe not. If I can get some eyepieces snuck down to the bottom. Well, I can just clear out these four lines at the top, why not? Just gotta do them quickly before the spiky bar comes down, I suppose. Okay, got that. Let's, uh, I'm gonna leave that for a J block, I guess. There we go. Ho ho! Almost done. And we're done. Okay, we're not done until he falls onto the ground. The crystal ball must have predicted my victory. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> that psychic stuff is phony baloney. Alright, stage 11. Oh, that, that is an ugly formation. <laughs> when you have, whenever you have like a checkerboard pattern su such as this, it, it's not very friendly. <laughs> Um, let's just see if I can fill in the gaps. Good. Good. I'm just going to keep knocking off lines until I see an opening that I can abuse. Well, not abuse. Or, like, take advantage of. As is the nature of Tetris now. Preferably an eye block. Okay, I'm not going to rely on the eye block. Let's be realistic here. <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> Why? Now you're here and I don't need you. Well, then again, you're always pretty useful, but still. <laughs> mean, mean eye blocks. They are the trolls of blocks. Okay. We're getting there. We are getting there. Just gotta carve out a few more little doodads here and there. Um. Oh, come on. This is like the worst block I could have in this particular situation. I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> that, that square block is probably one of the hardest to place blocks because you just... It's kind of... Well, I mean, you can plan for it, but what I mean is that it's... It, it doesn't have anything that notches into other pieces, so to speak. Okay... Oh, I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but you can rotate blocks by pressing the A or B button. Obviously! Otherwise I wouldn't be able to rotate blocks and D-pad moves these things. Don't know why I, did, I didn't explain that earlier, but that's, it's kind of obvious if you've played any other puzzle game in existence. <laughs> because you always gotta rotate those blocks. Uh, don't fall down, spiky thing! Okay. Uh, this is... An extremely slow-going stage with pieces that I keep getting here, unless I'm just not thinking things through as deeply as I should be. But... put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, panic. Gotta get I block, because I can't put blocks where he is right now, because he'll jump up to actually climb up. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Well, that wasn't one of my best runs, anyway. Alright. Let's give it another shot. I got the same piece right off the bat. Interesting. I wanted him to go... I mean, initially, I wanted him to go down the left side to finish off the stage. But the way that the the blocks kept coming, it just wasn't... just wasn't working. By the way, if he's in a uh, corner for a little while, he'll, he'll eventually fall asleep. Like, if he can't move left and right. He's a pretty active professor, and he gets bored if he doesn't uh, have some movements to, I mean, have a way to move around, I guess you could say. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess I should start plopping blocks in here, because I'm going to have to start clearing them off with that side. 
Okay, this is a much, much better setup than I had on the other one. Unless, as I said, I was just poorly thinking things through, which I, I wouldn't pa but put past me. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Put that there. Put this here. And there, and perhaps this here too. Wait a second. Oh, shoot. I didn't think I had it. Ah! It's still okay. It's still okay. Because all I need... Oh, it's two eye blocks in a row. Very nice. Okay. Recovered. As long as I don't make any uh, unnecessary gaps, I should be good to go. Because I just need to... Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Just keep going to the left. It's a good boy, and we're done. Woo! And that was a stylish finish with a triple. Yee! And I think that's enough time for a random gameplay so that you can get a taste of this game and how it is and how it plays. It is pretty fun. I definitely recommend this game if you can find it or one of the other Tetris Plus versions. Tetris, in, in general, is just one of those games that uh, it, I, I just feel that let everyone should give a shot at least once. Because, you know, it's, it's a pretty iconic game. It, it was um, uh, pretty key to the... Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> pretty key to the success of the Game Boy. And it was one of the uh, uh, biggest selling games of the Game Boy. I think it actually was the most sold game on the Game Boy, if I'm not mistaken. So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.